barbershop conversation guys feel free hit the subscribe button so it's on and popping in Dallas and in, in uh, Houston Texas uh, lavish cuts in Dallas Texas I mean Houston Texas June 29th 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, I just hired the DJ yesterday you're gonna have 97.9 the box coming it's gonna be a great event it's gonna be fun it's gonna be exciting we want a hundred black men there tell your friends tell everybody we want a hundred black men there all right moving forward Deontay Wilder is fighting Tyson Fury after he fight Luis Ortiz given everything goes well right and you guys want to play checkers and chess and talk about who's a good businessman. Well, you only as, as good a businessman as, as good a business as you create, right? And at the end of the day, Eddie Hearn will be Saturday morning waiting for his dad to show up sucking his stuff because Deontay Wilder's not showing up, Luis Ortiz is not showing up, and Tyson Fury is not showing up. And uh, uh, it, 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 it's just incredible how masterful they played their hand. And I'll be as candid, since the cat is out the bag, I'll have this conversation. Last week I got a phone call and said Luis Ortiz is fighting Deontay Wilder. And I was like, cool. And then he said, the person I was talking to said, you're not going to believe what we're about to do next. And I was like, please tell me, please tell me. He says, no, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. And I was like, for real? And honestly, I had no clue what, what they were going to do because I'm like, well, I mean, I knew it was a fight. But I was like, you going to fight Anthony Joshua? Blew my mind. Ty Deontay Wilder announced today he's fighting Tyson Fury. It makes Anthony Joshua completely irrelevant in America. He has no opponents. Three out of the four top heavyweights will fight each other. What do you want to see? Joseph Parker again against Anthony Joshua. Now, if whoever wins this round robin tournament between these three guys, it's going to be some rematches in there. It has to be. They're going to have to break the tie. Uh, will be the king of the heavyweight division because of the level of opponents that they have faced. And um, this obviously puts Andre Ward to bed. This basically buries the sentiment that Andre Ward said about Deontay Wilder and that he should he basically tested his character his his tested his character and his aptitude and in terms of an cerebral fighter and uh uh Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury should just go to Wembley Stadium and fight trying to take money out the man's pocket you understand what I'm saying and uh it is what it is so uh I'm happy this proves that Team Wilder is much more savvy. I'm going to use the word savvy. I don't want to make this about intelligence, all right? Much more savvy and getting shit done. Because three of the top four heavyweights will fight each other. And whoever wins this round robin is the number one heavyweight in the world. And I'm excited to watch all these fights. I, I, I think it's electric. Um, they announced this fight early enough where it's going to monopolize the entire summer. It's going to build momentum. Like I told you guys about Mikey Garcia, Earl Spence. Everyone hated that fight. I probably was one of the handful of media members that said, by the time this fight comes, it's going to be an event. By the time Luis Ortiz, Deontay Wilder come, it's going to be an event. Deontay Wilder is going to be on Saturday Night Live and Showtime. He's going to be on CBS. He's going to be doing the NFL stuff. He's going to, man, he's going to be all over the place. And it's going to be at a point where you're like, when is this guy fighting? You're going to be so attached to him that you're going to want to see him fight. You know, I, honestly, uh, it's Friday, 3.55 here in Los Angeles. And I have yet to watch uh, Anthony Joshua's weigh-in yet. You know, uh, um, I had some stuff to take care of while I'm here uh, in L.A. And... Um, um, I'm on my way to the Devin Alexander fight. I'm going to do that in about two hours. And uh, it, it's, it's, it's just uh, mesmerizing to, to, to grasp their downfall. They over, Eddie Hearn overplayed his hand. He thought he, thought he had the blue-eyed, tall, white man, blue-eyed syndrome when he absolutely doesn't, man. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's going to be a sight to behold. So... Uh, Eddie Hearn 
Eddie Hearn golden ticket was Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. And why that was, I'm going to tell you why. You got to understand business. I'm not going to explain it right now. The reason why Anthony Joshua is not signed to the zone is so he can get Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. And the only way to get that deal done is if Anthony Joshua is not signed to the zone, if you understand business and, and having the dexterity to move around as a businessman, whether it be Showtime, ESPN, or even the zone, right? And at the time, HBO, right? Um, they have no options. There's no upper room for Anthony Joshua as it relates to opponents. Everyone is locked in. Everyone is locked in and locked and loaded. I wouldn't be surprised if Luis Ortiz, if he loses to Deontay Wilder, fights the loser of Tyson Fury. You know, it's, 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 it's just beautiful, man. And I love how fearless these men are. Uh, I don't know how long they've been negotiating the Tyson Fury fight. Uh, maybe it's fairly recent. Deontay Wilder will be doing interviews probably. He probably should be doing interviews with somebody tonight. Uh, I can't interview him tonight. Maybe 78. If you listen to this video, maybe you can get a hold of him. But um, it's just uh, 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 it's a beautiful thing, man. So shout out to Team Heyman, Team Wilder. You guys definitely outmaneuvered Eddie Hearn. Because if Eddie Hearn was a genius, if Eddie Hearn was a genius, he should have been thinking next. Eddie Hearn wasn't thinking next. He was more concerned with signing Joseph Parker than finding, than trying to work out Anthony Joshua's next opponent. And I'm going to tell you one thing, and, and, and I'm going to be very, very clear about this. It's not Anthony Joshua that's blocking, in my humble opinion. It's Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn is destroying Anthony Joshua's legacy. Eddie Hearn is destroying the amount of money that... Uh, uh, Anthony Joshua could possibly make. He's put a ceiling or a cap on uh, the growth of Anthony Joshua. Now, in terms of being afraid, I'm going to do another video on that. There's no way you can call Deontay Wilder afraid now because Tyson Fury is the toughest opponent to prepare for in the heavyweight division. The toughest. In the ring, Deontay Wilder is the toughest opponent because you got to be on your p's and q's for 12 rounds so it's it's exciting we're excited to go barbershop conversations eddie hearn is about to get on nina john skipper is about to get on the pina and uh anthony joshua is going to get on the santa maria and uh who's going to get on the jesus christ one who can we put on the the, the jesus christ shit think of something real put it in the comment section barbershop conversation i'll holler peace